So we should already have our basic shapes done. Um, I'm going to bring in one of the students' K's here. So he has the K, his company was Connect. He has K, he has O, he has N, C, T, and so on. So uh, he's ready to go. He has all his, all his images ready to go. Um, all that needs to be done now is that you need to ensure that this is a transparent layer, that it's large, and that uh, each shape is, a, is its own image. Okay, and once you have that, you can open up Inkscape and we can get started. So the first thing we want to do is go to Extensions, Typography, and Inkscape makes it very easy with one, two, and three. So number one, set up a typography canvas. We should already be familiar with what these mean, M size, the sender, caps height. And then we want, we want these to be the default, so 1,750. So make sure yours um, resembles this. And it, when you're ready to go, press Apply. And then close that, and you should have your uh, canvas set up. And then I'm going to press Control-Shift-L to get my layers. Okay, and just in case you don't have that, Control shift l to get the layers. And now we can start adding our glyph layers. So a glyph layer is just a layer, um, a character layer that corresponds to a key press. So if I add a glyph layer here, and I want a, an uppercase K or a capital K, um, I shouldn't do this. I should actually specify capital K, press apply, and then now I have my glyph layer ready to go. So let me bring in my K. in a new window, and I'm just going to go ahead and vectorize this really quick. So path, trace bitmap, press OK, and that gives me this K, which is a totally different kind of K, right? I have one made of pixels and one made of shapes. So I'm gonna, going to control C, close that, and I'm going to paste it. So here we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and start from the baseline, and I'm going to scale up all the way to the caps. I'm not going to go exactly to the caps, and I, I'm not going to go exactly to the baseline, just a little bit above and a little bit below the, uh, a little bit above the baseline and a little below the, the caps. And just center it the best that I can, and then go to my K and open and close it to make sure that it actually went in there and it worked. All right, so that's great, so I have that. I can go ahead and create a new glyph layer. So add a new glyph layer, and this one will be the O, capital O. And I'm going to press apply. And now just to double check that everything went okay. So that that's an issue. You want, you want to go back and just make sure that when you add a new layer, um, you're actually getting the right layer, right? So now if I open and close K, perfect. And if I open and close O, there's nothing there, which is what I want. And so I'm going to bring in the next letter, O. I'm going to vectorize it. Copy it, close it, paste it, and again, same thing, you just want to go all the way up, just below the caps and just above the base. And so I end up with an O and a K. All right, so take your time with that. Um, this is just a quick demo, and once you're done with it, open up all the layers, and um, you open up all the glyph layers, and then I'm gonna go in File, Save As, or Save, and I'm going to call this one, let's just call it um, um, my font. And I'm going to save it as an optimized SVG. And press save on desktop, okay? And press okay for the defaults. And now there's a few other things that I wanna do. So uh, I, just, I saved it just to be safe, but third step would be extensions, typography. And I wanna convert this to, a, to an SVG font. So, um, Step three, go ahead and do that. If there's no error there, that means that you've done everything correctly. Um, there's nothing that's going outside of the baseline or the ascender or the, you know, nothing's wrong with your canvas. So if, again, if you run step three and, you, and there's no error, then you're good to go. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, name this font. So I'm going to go to text and SVG font editor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and say new. And now you see that there's, you know, there may be one or more than one font uh, available here. I'm, I'm going to find the one that says SVG font. I, I'm going to call it uh, the font that I want. So I'm going to say connect. And um, just make sure that I have named it connect, close it up. And just double check it to go back that it's actually called connect. Very good. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to save it again. And I'm going to go online and convert this font. Once I'm here at fontconverter.org, I'm going to choose my font which I had on desktop. And um, I, want, I want it to be a TTF. 
I'm going to press start. And now here comes my font. Let's have a look at it. And there's the K, there's the O, there's the name. I'll install this font and I have uh, a font called Connect installed in my system.